Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, the teams were in for a shock after they were told they'd be playing for individual immunity. The challenge was to carry weight for as long as they could, and in the end, Raj won for Ravenous Raccoons, while Eva won for the Agitated Alligators. Justin and Ella had been voted off, and they were ready to go, but it turned out that Chris just wanted them to swap teams, and so they did, having nobody be eliminated. Tyler and Sammy go to Ella and welcome her to the team, and she expresses how happy she is to meet new friends. Sammy asks if she would like to join an alliance, and Ella says that she would like that a lot, as that would keep her in longer. So she she can have a chance to see her trendy bear again. Tyler in Confessional says that he's not exactly sure about this new girl. If she keeps talking like this, he may have to ditch the Alliance entirely. Joe meets with Wayne and Raj, and she tells them that the next person they will vote out is Sammy, since she hasn't spoken to her, so Sammy must be in a different Alliance. Raj says okay to that, but Wayne says that he can't do it, saying that they can just vote B or the new girl off if it comes to that. Joe asks why he's all defensive and Raj agrees, saying that that's not like him, but Wayne says that he may have a tiny crush on her. Joe says that the jock and the cheerleader is a tale as old as time, but he needs to talk to her first and not let Tyler get in the way of that first. Wayne in Confessional says that he doesn't know what he will do. He likes Tyler, but he likes Sammy a whole lot too. B is looking around nervous before Beardo goes over and hands him a list. B gives a signal of appreciation and Beardo leaves. Trent is arguing with Damien saying that he can't believe he'd vote off his girl like that and Damien says he didn't. It must have been Beardo who flipped, but Trent doesn't believe it asking why the person who was friends with Ella the most besides him would vote off Ella. Bierdo in Confessional says he definitely voted Ella off. He made a deal with the girls to join their little alliance since if push comes to shove, they are a lot more valuable than Trent and Damien combined. But they don't need to know that. Eva tells them to stop arguing, they're ruining her morning and Axel agrees, saying that if the idol is in one of the animals, they've scared it off by now. Justin goes to Brick and tells him that Trent is really heartbroken over what he did. He might not be able to go on at this rate, and it's his fault. Breaking Confessional says that he feels terrible. Voting off someone's girl is really scummy. It's like civilian casualties. He doesn't know if he can keep doing this. Justin says that the only way Trent could forgive him is if he sacrifices one of his own as repayment. Brick says that that's not a good idea, but Justin counters it by saying that they must get rid of the one who even proposed the idea. And Brick says that he may be right, it's a captain's duty to accept any consequences for their actions, and as a result, Axel has to go. Chris welcomes them to their challenge. Everything is back to how it should be. They will compete in teams, and the winning team can send a loser to Boney Island. But today's challenge will be fun. All of you will be divided divided into teams of two where you will be forced to cook for Chef Hatchet. The team with the most points wins. Now, because it would be too easy if you picked your teams, I'll do it for you. On Ravenous Raccoons, Tyler and Ella, Sammy and Wayne, and finally Joe and B. Raj, you will have to sit out. Raj makes a disappointed statement before Chris moves on. On Agitated Alligators, the teams will be Damien and Trent, Yvonne Bierdo, and finally Brick and Justin. Axel, you must sit out because I'm afraid you'd poison Chef. Axel in Confessional says to suit themselves, she would make a great survival meal. Now go and decide who will do one course of the meal. Tyler says he can do the main course and Ella agrees, saying she can make a great spaghetti. Joe says that they need to have some meat for an entree, so her and B will take the entree while Tyler and Ella take appetizer. Wayne and Sammy will get dessert. Wayne says they will do great, let's go Sammy, let's get started on the baking. Sammy agrees, excited to be with such a positive individual. Eva says that her and Beardo can take the main course, and Justin says that they will take the appetizer, they will make a fruit salad. Finally, Trent says he will make the dessert unless Damien wants to betray that as well, and Damien says, first off, he didn't betray him. Second, that doesn't even make sense. The two teams start cooking and Tyler and Ella are going and are actually hitting it off surprisingly well considering they are so different. Ella asks what his favorite fairy tale was and Tyler said that his favorite was the story about the one guy who slays a dragon to rescue the princess. He must have been crazy strong. Ella says that that is a good one, but hers is most likely Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella. It's how she got her favorite favorite color. Tyler asks if that was pink, and Ella says her favorite color is actually baby blue. Tyler says that that's a good color, it's like the sky, and Ella agrees with it and says it has a tranquil aura to it. Joe is talking to B about if he will help get Tyler out, and he shrugs his shoulders before asking if he would help her out in general, and B gives a signal of agreement, and Joe says then that's the plan. Sammy is trying to bake, but Wayne is trying to impress her by carrying heavy amounts of boxes before falling. Sammy in Confessional says that Wayne is cute, but he's a huge idiot. 
Wayne arrives and says that she looks really good when she's cooking, and Sammy asks what he means by that, and Wayne says that it may not have come out the way he wanted it to come out. He means like it's like natural for her to be in the kitchen. Sammy and Confessional adds on to her previous statement by saying, a gigantic idiot. Justin asks Brick if he will do what's right, and Brick says that he will. Please stop pestering him about it, he's already guilty enough. And Justin agrees, saying he will. He's glad that Brick has come to his senses. Eva and Bierdo are cooking when Eva asks who they should vote off today, and Bierdo says there's only one real option. Trent says that it must be nice not to have to take any responsibility for what Damien did, and Damien finally snaps and says that he's sorry he was skeptical, but if he thinks he would actually vote off Ella, then he's an idiot. He would have voted off Bierdo before he voted off Ella. He loved Ella like Trent did, and he thinks that Bierdo gave Ella an ultimatum and not an alliance. If he truly thinks that he would vote off Ella, Trent may vote for him, but it won't make him feel any better. Trent says that he doesn't know who did it, and that's driving him crazy. It's just that it seemed obvious Damien did, but with how hard he's defending himself and how bad he is at lying, Damien must be telling the truth. He's sorry. Damien says it's fine, they just need to vote off one of the strongest alliances. He will vote off Eva if it proves that he isn't a traitor. When the judging comes, Tyler and Ella beat Justin and Brick, and Justin in confessional says that he has way better ideas than a fruit salad, but it wouldn't cause his team to lose otherwise. Eva and Bierdo face off against Joe and B, and Eva and Bierdo win, which gets Joe saying in confessional that it's understandable, it's hard to cook when one of the team members is silent. And finally, it's Trent and Damien versus Sammy and Wayne, and though both teams had difficulty, it was Wayne and Sammy who win, and Sammy hugs Wayne before quickly pulling back and saying sorry. Chris then says that that means ravenous raccoons win. Now who will they send to Boney Island? Justin is smiling before Joe says that they will send Justin so that he doesn't immediately get voted out like they were planning. Justin is shocked but says that that is a great idea. In confessional he says that that was the only thing that couldn't happen. Now the vote is entirely up in the air. Chris welcomes them to their elimination. And yes, this is an elimination. Now Chef, tell them why they may be leaving. Brick, you were on one of the teams that lost. Trent and Damien, you were fighting the entire time rather than doing your job. Now let's go over who's safe. Chris thanks him before starting. Bierdo, Axel, Brick, Damien, and finally... It's a tie. Eva and Trent are shocked as well as Damien, and Trent says that he can cook way better than Eva, and Chris says that it's not a cooking competition, but an eating one. You have to eat the remains of what you cooked. They both get ready, but Trent is immediately nervous. When they start, Trent is making slow progress, while Eva immediately goes faster and wins. Trent is disappointed, and Damien says he's sorry he couldn't be of more help to him, and Trent just asks for him to dispose of Bierdo, and Damien says he will try his best. And with that, that's the end of Episode 5 of Total Drama Redemption Island. What did you think? Question of the week, which meal would you have tried from this episode? Leave the thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.